Hi there, welcome to TR69 CPE van management protocol video. In this video, we'll cover basic of TR69 messages flow and other stuff. So TR69 is defined in DSL forum, and the latest amendment is TR69 version 5. So what is TR69? So before starting, what is TR69? Let's see where it fits. A few abbreviation. We'll use two common term ACS and CP. ACS stand for Auto Configuration Server. CP stand for Customer Premise Equipment. CWMP is a CP van management protocol. RPC is Remote Procedure Call. SOAP XML is Simple Object Access Protocol. STUN is Session Traversal Utilities for NAT. TCP Transmission Control Protocol and TLS transport layer security. So let's see what is end to end architecture before giving the definition of TR69. Okay, so we have list of CP devices like we have managed LAN, LAN devices, we have routers, modems and all. Okay, so there is an edge. So and this edge there is an auto configuration server known as ACS. So this ACS is in lies in network. Okay. And this ACS is connected with OSS policy call center and we'll refer this as a northbound interface. Okay. So this edge will manage the gateway device and this interface will be called as ACS southbound interface. Okay, so this is the scope of CPE WAN management protocol from the managed device to the ACS. So it's a bi-directional, you can see it's a bi-directional. Okay, so we are defining this protocol. So by definition, what is this? So TR69 stands for Technical Report 069. It's a broadband forum known as DSL forum used for management of end user devices example devices such as modems routers gateway setup boxes and wipe phones for end user okay so this can be modem setup boxes voice phone for the end user so we'll control this all managed device using the protocol cwmp and it is defined in tr69 so basically a tr69 is a between communication between ACS to the managed devices. So what are the core co function of uh, this TR69 protocol? It will give a auto configuration. It will do the firmware management for the devices. It will do the software module management, status monitoring and the performance monitoring. So these are the core pillar of the management function of the TR69. So for data model, there are a lot of TR defined like uh, technical report 181 device data model for TR69. So this is a specific to device. Technical report, internet gateway device data model. TR104 is provisioning parameter for VoIP. TR135 data model for TR69 enable STB. Likewise, we have TR143 and 140. So these are the data that operate between the ACS and the server. And there's a list of model defined based on the TRs. Okay. So let's see what is the protocol stack. So this is a layer seven protocol. Okay. So in TCP IP model, it stacks in layer seven. Okay. So in layer seven, we have HTTP, we have TLS, and uh, above that we have SOAP, then RPC, and this is the CP WAN management protocol, which sends an RPC method, which in terms of SOAP over the HTTP and communicate as SSL STP to the TCP IP layer. So this is the protocol stack. So it has multiple protocols like uh, RPC protocol, SOAP protocol, 
HTTP protocol SSL slash TLS version. So in the RPC method, this method are defined by the CP management protocol. So it has list of method for both for ACS as well as devices. So this is a schema SOAP schema defined how we'll perform a remote procedure call HTTP version 1.1, TLS 1.0 and SSL 3.0 over the TCP IP. So let's see what are the RPC messages are there. So broadly two RPC methods are defined one for ACS and one for CP. Okay, CP and ACS and there are a few generic methods supported by both ACS and DP. So what are the RPC method for CP is like uh, so CP methods are compromised with get RPC method set parameter value get parameter value get parameter name set parameter attributes get parameter attributes add object delete object reboot and download so these are the few uh, CP method and see what are the CP, uh, RPC method for the ACS so ACS we have only three methods inform get RPC methods and transfer complete so these are the method defined in the ACS so this is the list of the common supported method in uh, TR69 amendment 5 so we can see few are required few are optional okay and uh, for calling party also which one is optional which one is required for reboot uh, CP is required for ACS is also required likewise for ACS inform is required required for both the client for the CP and the ACS okay so this is the overall category for the TR69 RPC methods next what is the use of uh, HTTP so HTTP so will send SOAP message over the HTTP so we'll form a SOAP envelope based on the schema CWMP version 1.1 okay. and uh, the use of SOAP is to define the RPC method what we are trying to do so this is a sample XML which is for trying to perform an inform with this device ID and the parameter list okay let's go one with one special example like uh, uh, whenever a CP to ACS will happen CP will send an open connection and uh, a two-way auth will happen between the CP and ACS and the first inform to begin any transaction it will send a inform request so ACS hold inform request method so CP is requesting this method so what ACS will give ACS will provide a, a inform response to the CP then CP will post empty message ACS will respond get parameter value request okay and uh, so this is whatever is happening will happen within the inform okay so this first information should be sent to open a connection after connection is open and then finally it will close the connection okay ACS ask set parameter value CP say set parameter well response and finally closing the session so this CP connection establishment this part through CP is happened when it initially install power resets so it is also configurable like uh, what time have to be it's a periodic inform interval and when it was in the URL of ACS change, so a lot of categories are there when CP connection establishment is happen. Okay. So for more references, you can always refer to broadband forum. Thanks for watching the video. Do let me know if you have any queries or concern. I will try to answer over the comment.